neighborhood. Our setup here, if you're watching on YouTube, yes. is a little different. It's awesome, though. In the <laughs> yeah. same room. I know. We're in the room where it happened. Hamilton reference right there. <laughs> um, but we're excited. Yeah, the next six, seven episodes will be like this. So Yeah. yeah. So usually people can't even tell if we're in the same room. But typically in these, I'm in Cincinnati. Jeff's yeah, in Yeah, we're 5,000 miles away. Yeah, yeah. So it looks a little like we're, but we're actually now, we're not, this is not special effects. This is yeah, CGI. <laughs> There's that CGI. Jeff just flew into Cincinnati this morning. They're yep. having an awesome time coming up from Savannah. So we yes. want to talk to you guys about a topic that is really, uh, really important for especially young dads. Uh, Ken in our Facebook group, he asked, he, he talked about the tension between providing and being present. Yeah. And I like the way that he describes this. He says, the gap or dichotomy between working harder to bring in more money to set up your multi-generational team, long-term business planning, maybe starting a family business, et cetera, versus the exhaustion that it takes to do that, which will naturally yeah. wear on you as you take away the energy to be an intentional husband, father, et cetera. For instance, I can work harder, maybe pick up a second source of income, but I always find that when I do, I'm so exhausted. I just want to sleep when I get home. That's not <laughs> being a father. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. What, I don't know. How's... Yeah. No, I mean, it was funny. We were talking about this even last week. I was telling you, I think my way that I struggle with it is similar, but different in that, uh, but maybe the answers are the same. Uh, uh, it was Ken, right? Yeah. Ken. Yeah. Is for me, I wrestle with how much do I want to try to build systems and uh, passive income at some level, but just also like certain uh, circumstances so that I can be with the family and how versus how much do I want to take that, the family, not that like that one, as if there's other ones that the family <laughs> right. on mission with me in yes. the work, that's yeah. a tough tension I wrestle with. Right. Yeah. Um, because at some level, if you're doing too much of like, Oh, just create all these streams of income and passive re generate, you know, generating income, et cetera. Then like what I think sometimes people don't realize in that lifestyle is then that creates almost a missionless home. You're yeah. just kind of like, Oh, I'm just home hanging. Cause you're almost like doing that pseudo American retirement thing. You know, I'm just yeah. like, we're just home. Like we don't do anything. Um, so I think that that balance is interesting. One thing I've tried to do is it doesn't need to be one forever. And so I've tried to say yeah. like, what does this season need? That's right. Does this season need me at home more? Well, then I want to try to create some things that can run on their own. Right. Yeah. Does this season need our kids called up to something? I, and this is something I, I, I try to pay attention to when the kids are being a little selfish, a little entitled, a little mm. to me, I feel like a lot of times, not always, those uh, traits of a heart are usually coming out when you're missionless mm. or purposeless. You know what right. I mean? So that's what I've realized is like, man, I usually notice that in the kids when we're just uh, subtly getting drawn into a insider, insular consumer perspective, yeah. right? So that's how I've kind of wrestled with it, which is different than Ken because it's a little different question, but how would you say that? Yeah, I mean, there's, I think it's really important to think about these in terms of seasons of intensity, seasons of presence. I think that you have to have a long-term perspective on what are you trying to build and at what point yeah. is that presence most critical? In my opinion, this is, you will not hear this, I think, in most yeah. sort of family ministries. I think presence gets increasingly more important the older you get. Yes. You have more kids. Well, get the older. kids get too. That's right. So even when your kids are in your 20s, nobody talks about, okay, yeah. I want to be super present for my kids in their 20s and 30s. Yeah. I think that's absolutely critical. Um, and so oftentimes, if it does take a sacrifice yeah. in, my, in my 20s and 30s to get to that point, that's a trade-off. There's obviously a huge balance here. But I would, re I really consider making that trade off. Now, in the in the state of, um, I like what Ken described, the exhaustion, yeah. the need to be present. That's not a father. What I always look at is, <clears throat> in whatever that that if you're in a very intense work season, uh, maybe you're working sixty hours a week. I, if you pick up a second income, uh, then is there any way your kids can be integrated into mm. that second? man, that, that, that's a game changer. Cause then so, it's a win-win. That's right. So yeah. for a lot of guys who maybe their sales jobs and they have to travel, mm -hmm. can I bring one of my kids with yeah. me? Even though when they're six or seven, I've, I've got a lot of friends who've tried this. I've done this a lot. Um, it, it really, a lot of people don't think outside the box yeah. that way. I want to be a father everywhere I go. And so the tools that I use is, uh, is definitely integrating my kids more into my work, finding, uh, opportunities to do that. If I'm going to pick up a second source of income, um, it, almost a condition of the second yeah. source of income is I've got to be with my wife or my kids, mm -hmm. you know, at some level, um, or it's just not worth it. 60 hours a week away from the family, even in that really early stage, I, I think at some point, especially if you're coming home exhausted, um, you can't sustain that for years. Um, that's just not realistic. So. Yeah. And so I would agree with that. Ken, let us know if that, uh, served you and encouraged you, but literally the, this question came or where I started asking this question was it integrated a couple weeks ago. So yeah, tell, yeah. tell Ken about, and the rest of the audience about integrated. Yeah. So if you guys, uh, Jeff and I started a, a business owners masterminds, which dads. is perfect for these questions. That's right. And this is exactly what we're trying to talk through. Yeah. How do we help guys who are trying to figure this out, build assets, integrate their family, 
become creative. Uh, we get together twice a year. You can uh, find that at familyteams.com slash integrated. We just got back from Austin with the guys. So good. It was awesome. We're going to do Cincinnati. Uh, in a few Is that weeks. a house phone? Do you I guys know. have a house phone? Well, we have a grandma who lives here. I was going to say, do you guys have a house phone? <laughs> Five minute fatherhood, you guys just got a special treat. A house phone just rang. <laughs> I haven't right. heard one of those since 2009. That's right. But that was amazing. But you should join Integrate. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when grandma moves in, yes. she needs a house phone. We've discovered that. Landlines. <laughs> There's a generation where they just cannot be <laughs> sacrificed. So we will turn that off and but, go to the but, next but episode. If you guys want to think you just got time warped into the 80s? Yes. That was fun. 